Nahum chapter 1 verse 3. Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power. He will not at all acquit the wicked. Yahweh have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechachodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. And uh, this one is going to be a quick hit. Straight to the point. Lord's will and edifying. This is Nahum 1 and 3. Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power. Okay, the Lord is, your Heavenly Father is slow to anger. Okay, because the power in which our Heavenly Father possess, you know, he can destroy you, you know, with with uh, just thought. So that also proves that our Lord is a righteous power that governs the universe. Because why? He's slow to anger. All right, he's long suffering. You know, when you look at yourself as a man, all right, fleshly, you know, when you were when you were in the world, someone offended you or did wrong by you, you immediately got mad and you wanted your lick back. You know, not everybody has that trait to be slow to anger. You know, the way that we're taught in Babylon, you know, being raised in this 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 world under Esau is is to be carnal, you know. Whoever is more carnal and more powerful in the current in, in their carnalness, you know, will be more of the successor, you know. So anyway, it says the Lord is slow to anger and great in power. How is the Lord great in power? Because he shows us his marvelous works. Alright, we're living of his we're we're living creatures of his marvelous work. Okay, uh, I must say this too, you know, the Lord shows his power through, through the weak, okay, through the things that you least expect, and this is why us of the whole four elect, all right, being of a small number compared to the two-thirds, all right, to the whole nation of the Lord, that he's going to show his great power in them. All right. So it says, Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power, and he will not at all acquit the wicked. So what is acquit? Let's give it a quick look up. Nakwa. It says to be empty, be clear, be pure, be free, be innocent, be desolate, be cut off. So the Lord said he would not at all acquit the wicked. He would not, he would not at all do what? Let them be free, be innocent. All right. It says uh, to be empty, be clean, be pure, to be cleaned out, to be purged out, to be clean, be free from guilt, be innocent. He won't let the wicked, all right, be free from guilt. All right. And that's why, you know, you have, you could say you have these two thirds of the Lord's people who they really don't have any shame you know they despise this truth you know they took in um liberty excuse me they took they as the scripture saying what's that second edge is nine uh all right so like, yeah, i just had to pull it up this is second edge was nine and nine then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me and they that have lofted my law while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it the same must know it after death by pain all right so what are they going to know after death by pain this truth the point i wanted to make is uh, is, is in verse 9 where it says, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. All right, so going back to the word acquit, okay, be free from guilt, be innocent. Now, us of the whole for elect, you know, we're striving in this truth, you know, with our faith, hoping to endure all the way to the end 
so that we can be blameless, to be innocent, so to say, right? To be free, be exempt from punishment. So the wicked is not going unpunished. And ultimately, who is the wicked? That's these Edomites, you know, going down to the other nations to what? To the two thirds of the Lord's people. So it says to be free, be exempt from obligation. It says to hold innocent, acquit, to leave unpunished. So he's not going to leave you unpunished. So it says the Lord is slow to anger and great in power. He will not at all acquit the wicked. Yahweh have his way in the whirlwind and in a storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. It says he rebuketh the sea and maketh it dry. He dried up all the rivers by shun languageth and Carmel and the flowers of Lebanon languages. The mountains quake at him and the hills melt and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. Who can stand before his indignation and who can abide in his fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire and the rocks are thrown down by him. All right. So who can stand before his indignation? Now, the word indignation means righteous anger. Who can stand before his righteous anger? OK, who can stand before his his judgments? All right. Who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire and his rocks are thrown down by him. It says, Yahweh is good, a stronghold in a day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. All right. So the Lord knoweth them, the elect, who trust in him. So you got to trust in Yahweh by Shem because what? He is a stronghold in the day of trouble. All right. So like I said, this is going to be a quick hit. Hopefully it was edifying to those of the whole four elect. All right. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is nothing to be played with. All right. And he's going to show the world. Okay. These heathens, especially Esau, who's in power. You know, let me read this and, and then I'm going. I'm going to read three again. It says the Lord is slow to anger and great in power. And he will not at all acquit the wicked. So E, you're not going unpunished. Two thirds, you're not going unpunished. The heathens around the world, you're not going unpunished. Okay. It says, Yahweh have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. And the clouds are the dust of his feet. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad. Shalom.